Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for October 2022. The deck that I'm using is the Rider Weight deck and it's illustrated by S.R. Kaplan. So I picked four cards from the Rider Weight deck and the first card talks about um, a female authority figure in their life. Okay, it talks about someone who's very sensitive, very loving, very caring. It might even be a water sign individual. Now, it's someone who possibly was a full-time mother, and it is um, a female authority figure in your life, okay? Whether that be a grandmother or a mother. Now, it does talk about someone who has that need for closeness with their children. It's also someone who is dealing with depression, perhaps even addiction, or is attached to uh, an abuser of sorts, okay? It does talk about pregnancy. It talks about motherhood. It talks about possibly even um, an unwed mother or adoption, okay? So it does have to do with um, female energy in the first week of October 2022. So Sagittarius, it's like there is someone coming into your life that is possibly bringing in, um, bringing children, okay? Bringing children into your life or per perhaps even yourself, or maybe if you're in a relationship, maybe you're becoming a parent at this point in time, okay? And you're having to focus on that element. But it might also be that possibly Sagittarius, you're having to focus on helping an elderly parent, an elder, um, a maternal figure in your life, okay? And it is talking about you having to take responsibility possibly for an elder parent. So that's happening in that first week of October 2022, where perhaps you're having to extend a helping hand to someone in your life that you love and that you care about, okay? And indeed, it's going to happen very quickly in the first week. Now, it's not saying it's a necessarily a negative thing. It's just saying that in some way you are going to extend a helping hand to someone in your life who needs maybe that compassionate shoulder, or maybe they even need a physical aspect uh, where they need help physically, okay? So as you're moving into the second week, this might be you. This is a fire sign individual, and that would be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. And indeed, you are a fire sign individual. So it talks about possibly you feeling a loss of direction and purpose in your life, okay? It might even talk about a misuse of powers, selfishness, rage, bullying, mindless rebellion, and even violence. So I'm hoping, Sagittarius, of that this is not you. I hope this is not you that's having to deal with these issues. And certainly I hope it's not you that is enacting these type of um, physical things, okay? It does talk about you scattering your energies. It talks about part-time work or part-time duty. So maybe you are taking on a part-time work, extra work, in order to achieve a financial prowess in your life, okay? A financial balance. So it does talk about there being impediments. Impediments to the joining together of two people, whether that be you and a maternal aspect because it was a female energy, okay? So perhaps someone is reaching out for help to you. And it might be a maternal aspect in your life, okay? Whether that be a mother, whether that be a grandmother, whether that be a sister, an aunt, it's a female energy and someone that's asking you for possibly help, either financial or maybe even physical. Maybe someone is dealing with some health issues and they're asking you to help them in some way. And so you might... Um, Maybe you live at a distance or maybe you're unable to help them at this point in time or maybe you're not seeing a way that you can help them. There's impediments in order for you to be able to achieve um, helping them in some way, okay? So we're going to move into that third week. And this is kind of going, everything seems to be kind of going really fast here where, you know, Somebody is, is kind of stepping up and saying, listen, I need some help or, or can you help me in some way? And then in that second week, you're kind of saying, well, yeah, I'd like to help you, but I don't know how I can do it. I don't know how I can achieve it, right? So we're moving into that third week. 
And in that third week, it talks about somebody giving you something. And normally when this card comes up, it's the inheritance card. It's somebody is giving you, um, it would be if a, like if a parent passed or a grandparent passed or someone who cared about you and they thought about your future. And so they're handing you um, something that's going to help you in your future, right? So that type of inheritance. But it could also be someone just giving you something that belonged to them, something that they want you to have, okay? That could be property. It could be house. It could be, a, it could be property. It could be a house. It could be a car. It could be uh, some type of belonging that they want you to have, okay? could also talk about you gaining um, lucrative employment. So getting another job, maybe moving up that ladder, up that echelon of power in your business, in your job. It talks about good benefits. It talks about security and a chance for promotion in a large corporation. It talks about you taking on new responsibilities, both in the family and in your job, okay? It does talk about a family celebration, either uh, a celebration of life, maybe a birthday, maybe a marriage. It does talk about you needing to take on more responsibility in a family situation, okay? It could talk about a parental figure of yours thinking about your future and giving you something to help you move forward in your future. So let's say you're let's say you're getting married, or let's say uh, there's a celebration planned, uh, a wedding celebration, and a parental figure is giving you a gift, and they're giving you a gift of money or property or land or whatever it may be. Okay, and it's someone who is thinking about your future. So maybe you're receiving a wedding gift if indeed you're getting married. Maybe you're receiving an inheritance. Doesn't necessarily have to be someone dying. It could be someone just giving you something that they feel is going to benefit you in some way okay now it could also talk about a parental figure or a grandparent coming to live with you now hopefully that's a good thing for you but it is talking about maybe you're going to take on the responsibility of a maternal aspect in your life coming to live with you and you're going to help them in some way okay and that's what I see in the cards for that third week. So let's move into the fourth week. Ah, uh, the fourth week. So <laughs> is this unusual? It's talking about political upheaval. It's talking about rallies. It's talking about strikes. It's talking about walkouts. It's talking about conflict. People are rioting. People are ready to take action in some way. People have opposing ideals and opposing views and they're going to the excess, excessive degree in absolutely everything. There is a great passion, a great intensity, and it is com conflicted by conflict or complicated by conflicting emotions and energies. And I'll tell you where this is leading. So people are very clear about what they want and what they don't want and how they want to get the things that they want, okay? There may be threats made, there may be issues that are coming to a head, but there is going to be this intense flashback, okay? Projects are going to be successful, things are going to go in your direction, okay? But be very careful about making enemies in this fourth week. Now, what I'm seeing here is like you had in that first week where there was a maternal aspect stepping up to the plate and possibly asking for your help. In the second week, you were looking at the impediments to you being able to help this person or to join with the this person, okay? Maybe someone wanted to purchase property with you or join with you or move with you or have them help them or have you help them in their time of need or illness. And you are seeing impediments in that second week. Maybe you're at a distance. Maybe you're working too much. Maybe you don't have the time or the availability or even the financial prowess to be able to help someone. And then you move into that third week and someone's giving you property or giving you money, or giving you something that you need in order to achieve success in your future. Maybe it's an inheritance. Maybe someone's just giving you property or giving you money, okay? And then in that last week, 
there's the excessive degree in everything. There's strikes and walkouts. So let's say you have an elderly parent who's living in um, a nursing home, okay? And maybe there's a bunch of strikes or maybe there's a shutdown or maybe there's a lockdown or maybe there's, you know, I mean, we've been in this pandemic for how many years now? And there's been like, you know, lot, loss of jobs and, and Maybe there's going to be a massive strike and there's going to be no workers. And so you're going to have to accommodate someone in your life who maybe is an elder parent, whether it be a mother, a father or, or whoever, it may be a grandparent. And you're going to have to help them in some way, take care of them in some way. Okay. And that might be what's taking place in that last, last week. And it talks about you having to be very forward thinking that if you're listening to this reading early enough, and I'm doing this reading in August, okay? And it's for October. So be prepared that if there might be, or if possibly there is going to be uh, a chance where maybe an elder parent is not gonna be accommodated in their needs, in a long-term care wing or in a retirement home, maybe you're gonna have to take care of them. Maybe you're gonna have to step up to the plate. So be aware of these things happening. It's like the divine is giving you a warning and preparing you for that next step that you just might have to take in order to help someone that you care about. So uh, that's all that I have for October. So I shall see you in November. And hopefully everything is on the level and all balanced for you as you move into November. Namaste, my friends. Bye-bye.